Welcome to Rethink Fabulous. I'm Natalie Shelton, and we are going to be doing a Valentine's series the next few videos. So these are old videos that I posted over the last couple of years. They're kind of funny to look back on, but I hope you enjoy the DIYs. Also, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow, and I hope that you enjoy this and the future Valentine DIYs. Hey everybody, I'm Natalie. Welcome to Rethink Fabulous. Um, I've got a couple of things again tonight that I wanna uh, go over here. Um, I don't know if you can see my little sign here in the back. So apparently Facebook does not like you to say that word right there. So um, they, if you do, it's a violation and of their rules or whatever, and um, they don't spread your video um, like they should. So anyway, so I'm just putting up that up there to remember to please do that. And we're gonna have to come up with an, a code word, spread the love. Um, so also if you do that word right there <laughs> with the video um let me know in the comments below that you have done that because some of um your settings are set to private so it does not show me um some people it doesn't show me if you did that so um i keep adding names in where the people that do do that do that um, and it does show me your names then I just keep adding your name every time you do that so remember to um, do that and um, so other people can watch and enjoy it as well so okay a couple other things let's see at the Dollar Tree the other day I think it's a couple days ago they had these little red truck signs now mine looks all sanded because it is um, it has glitter the whole red part of the truck was red glitter and I did not want glitter so I actually sanded my glitter off <clears throat> um, but anyway they do they did the day before yesterday had quite a few of these so we're gonna do something fun with this not going to keep it this way, but we're gonna do something fun with that. So if you think that you might enjoy um, doing something with a little truck, then um, go down and get yourself one. Let's see, what else? Oh, another thing that I found at the Dollar Tree are these little felt hearts. Um, so they're kind of thick and they're felt. Let's see, oh, this is, Okay, and you get um, eight of them to a package. <clears throat> so you get three red, three pink. So there's the red, you get white, and you get pink. And I love these, I think they are so cute. They're thick, um, so they kind of look like the paper doilies, but they're thicker, so you can do some fun things with them. I was trying to see, oh, here's one that um, I'll be doing some more stuff with these, but I actually took two of them and glued it around the edges and then stuffed it with some stuffing and it made kind of these little pillows. Now these would be perfect if you're doing a Valentine's tree <clears throat> as little ornaments for your tree. You could just tuck these um, cute little pillows in um, your tree. You could stencil something or write something across it like the little um, Valentine's candies, um, the little sayings. So those are really cute. So they did have a bunch of those in. And then um, if you um, didn't check or if you didn't see a couple days ago, I posted a picture of some of the things I did with these hearts. So this heart, there was three of them. They were connected and it was like a red, purple and pink or something. And I guess it was just red and purple. It was these colors. So I took them apart and two of them, um, one of them I added the th thick chunky yarn and the other one I added um, reindeer moss. So I'm going to do something with them and I still have one heart left. So 
you can put them back together and have three of them or you can um, use them all for different things. These would be really cute in a wreath on your door um, after you've taken off the tinsel. And you might like the tinsel on them. I'm just not a huge tinsel person, but I think with the right, um, the right thing, you know, the right combination of things, it could look really cute. So a lot of people do like tinsel and I think it can be really cute on some, some projects. Okay, also, um, oh, let's see who's Becky. Hello, thanks for joining tonight and Sherry and Maureen. Okay, so I hope that you guys saw um, those little, what was the candy cane heart, the big one that I made? So I had two big candy canes. I got them at clearance at Walmart um, for like 19 cents each. I went back to get some more and they were gone. But I also have these small ones and they're just, they're made out of the same hard plastic as those big ones. So I'm actually going to um, cover these like I did that big one and then put the lace behind it and do something fun with that. You could also use those for on a wreath or um, on a tree or just for fun. So those are fun. So if you have anything that's um, candy cane, you know, like the little um, candy cane um, has candy in it for the kids or like a dollar and they have like M&Ms or something in them, those would be really cute. You could make a heart. So you could make a heart with any two candy canes. So <clears throat> just remember not to throw away your candy cane. Uh, stuff or just think that you can use it for Christmas because you can also use it for Valentine's. Okay, so tonight we are going to make something. Now, um, I've said this before in my other videos. Hey, Charlotte, thank you for watching tonight. So I've said this before um, that I didn't used to um, decorate for Valentine's Day. I mean, I would do fun stuff for breakfast or for dinner, decorate the table, but not my house. I have had so much fun this this year um, making things for my home for Valentine's. I didn't think that I would like it, but I, I, not that I don't like Valentine's Day because I do, I just didn't think that it was a holiday that I needed to decorate for. But I have had so much fun. There's so many cute things um, that if you follow me, you've seen some of the pictures that I've posted and there are just so many fun things that you can do for Valentine's. It doesn't have to be just red and white and, um, some people have said, oh, I just don't, um, I just, I don't like Valentine's. I hate Valentine's Day. You know, they don't, they don't have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or girlfriend. And they think of Valentine's as just like a romantic, um, a romantic holiday. So it can be that, but guys rethink Valentine's Day, rethink it. I love Valentine's Day because I love my family, I love my children, I love my neighbors, I love the people I work with. I mean, like, there's so many things that, um, to celebrate Valentine's Day. You know, I love God, I love, oh, I, you know, just, I love, there's so many things that I love. So Valentine's Day doesn't have to be just a romantic holiday where you can only enjoy it if you have, um, you know, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband or wife or whatever. So one of the things that I um, am going to do this year for Valentine's is, um, so at Christmas time, you know, we have stockings that we um, leave out and fill the stockings with goodies um, for, for the kids to wake up in the morning um, and, and get their little gifts. Well, for Valentine's, I've always just in the morning set like their little goodies by the, um, their plates for breakfast something like that. So I thought it would be kind of fun to make, I wouldn't call it a stocking because it's not shaped like a stocking, but it's kind of like a stocking. It's going to be a Valentine's, I don't know, you could call it a love bag or a, a Valentine's bag or, or whatever. Hey, Claudia, thanks for watching tonight. And Brandy, hey, Brandy. So this is what I came up with um, for a little stocking bag type thing for my kids. This one's for my daughter, Emma. And um, I know it's backwards for you guys, but I stenciled her name on this. And basically it's just like a stocking. You can put stuff in it, um, like candy and, oops. So you see, you can just stick like candy in there. You can stick a little stuffed animal, like a little bear. You can stick, um, you know, just cute little, a little pillow, all sorts of little things. 
and then <clears throat> put a little um, 3M hook or something on their door or maybe by your fireplace like you do your um, your stockings. And when they wake up in the morning, um, they can get their little love bag or their um, love stocking or whatever and get their little treats out of it. I think it would be so cute. Hey, hey, Brandy, I'm so glad to see you on here tonight. Um, so, you know, you could do this for your husband. You could do this for your grandkids. This would be a fun project to do with um, grandmas and grandkids or with moms with their daughters or sons. You can, just like with stockings, you can make girly ones and you can make kind of more masculine ones. So this is the one that I made previously for my daughter, but I'm going to make one tonight with you guys for my son. Okay, so anyway, these are just really fun. Um, something that I think um, would be a fun tradition to start with your, with your family. So, okay. <coughs> so, uh, guys, I still am trying to get over whatever it is that I've had. So I'm still kind of sniffing and everything. Okay, so I got this um, heart. I told you guys they had these at the Dollar Tree. When I went to get another heart, they didn't have just the plain wooden ones. So I found this one over by, um, it's a little section with like pencils and pens and stuff like that. It says girl boss or something. But anyway, I can use the back of it or cover this front part. So not a big, not, ugh, excuse me, got the hiccups. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna use this heart and I'm gonna do, oh, another thing I want to show you before we get started. Remember these um, little party hats that we covered in this jute and we added the little handle and I said at Christmas time you could add cute little stuff into it or you could do the same for Valentine's, okay? So you could add a cute little heart inside there, fill this with candy and hang it up, put their little treats in it and hang it up and you could do something like this you know, tonight we're making these cute little Valentine's stocking type, or love bags for Valentine's Day to put your goodies in. But if you didn't want to do something like this, you could totally use one of these. So you just go get some party hats. I think there's four or something for $1. Get some jute ribbon or jute um, string twine and just glue it on and put a little rope handle on it and look how cute that is. You could decorate it, you can put um, little hearts on the front, you could put their name, you can just add, there's a little doily heart, you could add anything, add some ribbon. So that's a really fun idea too, to just have those hanging. Okay, so here we go. For tonight, like I said, I'm gonna make one for my son. That was, This one's for my daughter and her name's on it. And we are going to make more of a neutral palette for boys. Now, Valentine is kind of, you know, lace and ruffles and this and that. I'm not, I mean, you could do like football material. You could do anything like that. Um, his is gonna be kind of just in neutral colors, but it's still gonna have a bow and stuff on it just because just because it is, because I wanna show you how to do it. So <laughs> that's what he's gonna get. Okay, so for mine, I am going to use, um, I have this sweater, you know, if you follow me, you know that I love to use sweaters that are not being used anymore. Um, I always use the arms of them to cover candles, and they stretch really good, so you can do a long skinny candle, or you can do a big round one and then you just cut it off and glue um, the bottom of the jar. So I'm going to use this um, sweater and I'm going to use, I have this little bag um, that I've used for, I think they came three for, I don't know, $1.99 or something, had it for a while, but I'm not using this one. I've used some other ones, so I'm going to use this material. I'm just gonna cut it and use it to cover my heart. So let's do that real quick. I'm just going to cut it right down the side because I need it to be a bigger piece for my wooden heart to cover it. So, hey Chandra, thanks for joining. And Tara, nice to see you on here tonight. And my husband says, I used to have a sweater from Ireland. 
he did. His mother went to Ireland and bought him the most beautiful blue sweater that was 100% wool, but it didn't have a tag on it because it was like handmade. So I, he wore it and I washed it. So I put it in the wash machine, you know, like this size, and it came out this size. It was shrunk it. Yep, I ruined it. So he got to wear it once and then I ruined it and he will not let me live it down. Okay, so, which I don't blame him, poor guy. All right, so I'm gonna use this material and I'm gonna cover um, my heart. Oh, guys, look at this. I got this glue gun. It's the first time I've ever used it, and it's just like a pin. You hold it with your hand this way, and you just push it. So I'm going to try it out tonight. Never used it before, so let's see. I'm not really sure. Well, I don't know. I think I need to figure it out, so I'm not going to worry about it tonight. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to use this one. So you don't have to sit and watch me figure it out. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that on my heart. I just laid my heart on there, okay? Now this is a seam that goes across the bottom of that bag. Not a big deal, because it's gonna be covered up anyway. So, <clears throat> okay, now I'm just going to after I got it all glued on, I'm just going to cut around my heart. So guys, if you're just joining, I kind of already went through this. See my sign here, what it says. Um, we can't say this word on Facebook, otherwise they will not share your um, video. So please do what that sign says. <laughs> And um, so spread the love if you don't mind. And if you do, in the comments, please put that you did that so that I can put your name in this um, big bucket here for a drawing. Um, and every time you do that, right there, um, every time you do that, your name goes in the bucket. So it gives you more chances to win some um, the drawings. So, okay. All right, so you basically is what I'm saying is if you don't have to go out and buy material, just use something that you already have. This, like I said, has a seam in it, but it's gonna be covered right there, so it's not gonna matter. So I'm just trying to show you that you can really use just about anything um, for this project. Just gotta make sure it's glued on there nice and tight. Okay, and if you're just joining me, this is another little trick that I love. You just put a little dot of glue in there, stick your glue stick in there, and then it doesn't fall out. If you've ever used your glue gun and the stupid glue stick keeps falling out, it's so annoying. So that is a fabulous tip for all my crafting friends. So your glue stick doesn't fall out. Okay, hey Vicki, thanks for joining tonight. So Vicki, um, we are making these little Valentine um, love sacks or a love bag. Um, they're kind of like a Christmas stocking, but for Valentine's Day. And um, yeah, this is what we're, we're going to be making. So, all right, okay, so I got my heart covered there. And now I'm going to, originally this had a heart on the back. See the back of it, it's a heart shape. So that's why it goes into like a cone shape is because it was a heart, long, skinny heart. But then I added these on. So you can't really see the shape of the heart unless you turn it around. So that's why I'm using this wooden heart is because it is supposed to be heart shaped. I think you'll be able to see the, the shape of the heart better with this one. Okay, so I'm going to take my sweater, lay it out, <clears throat> and I kind of
kind of made a template um, with another piece of fabric earlier. It's not as big as I would like, so I'm actually going to um, cut it just a little bit bigger than the template. So, all right. So I'm just going to putting all sorts of stuff under there. Okay, I'm just going to cut around this template. All right. And I'll save this sweater for something else. Okay. Um, hey, Amber. Good to see you on here tonight. And Shelly. Okay. So now I have my sweater cut. Okay. And I have a heart shape there. And now I'm going to just turn the right side in on both pieces so that I can glue them, just like you would a pillow. I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna turn it inside, or turn it right side out, so. Okay, so here we've got this, and I'm gonna start gluing. Now for all of you sewers out there, you could totally use your sewing machine and sew these cute little hearts. Um, I do not have a sewing machine right now. And even if I did, I don't know that I would use it because I really would much rather use a glue gun. And they do have glue sticks um, at some of the craft stores that are um, bonding glue sticks for fabric. So they're washable, they're um, dryable, all that kind of stuff. I've actually washed like pillow covers and stuff before that I've used regular glue sticks and they held up just fine. Of course, I just didn't put them in the dryer. I let them, um, okay, I let them air dry. So I'm not gonna go all the way around my heart and see, this isn't perfect and that's totally fine because it's not gonna matter anyway. So I'm just gonna go up to about right here on this side, and then I'm gonna glue the other side the same distance up. So, okay. So just press that glue in nice and hard so that it gets the glue down in the fibers and it really holds it well. Okay. All right. You can even use, like, if it's real hot, a popsicle stick or something and push down on that. Okay, so I glued all the way around except for the top. Now I'm going to turn it inside out. There we go. And you can trim some of this extra stuff off so it's not so bulky. Just like you would if you were sewing it. All right, now guys, this is the first time I I didn't practice making this one for my son or anything like that, so we're just kind of going with it as we go. But here is the little bag part of his heart, of his hearts, or his Valentine sack. Okay, all right. Now I'm just gonna slide it up over, um, Halfway up, I guess, over my heart. So see, this part of my fabric that's all bunched up and there's like a seam through it, doesn't matter because it's gonna be covered up anyway, okay? So I'm just gonna stick that heart in there. All right, now at this point, I could leave um, kind of this heart shaped right here on the fabric, but I think I'm going to just, um, roll it under 
a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stick that in there. And I'm just gonna basically hem if you were sewing, it would be called hemming the edges to make it straight across here. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be putting stuff on it. So it doesn't have to be all perfect and whatnot. Okay, now. Okay, so I just hemmed that with my glue gun so that it's straight across, okay? Now my back part, can do the same thing if I want, which I think I will. Okay, so I'm just gonna hem that back part the same way. Okay, thank you Brandy for sprinkling the love. <laughs> I appreciate that and I will make sure that I get your name in there in the bucket for the drawing. Okay, so see how the sweater material or a lot of the materials are kind of stretchy unless you use cotton. So see how it looks like it's bigger right here? Not a big deal, that'll be covered, okay? So now I'm going to glue my sack here onto my heart. So this is just the back side. Put a bunch of glue on there. So I just glued just like this so that it would stay there, okay? All right. I'm gonna glue it right across the top as well. All right. Okay, so here we go. Here's our little Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Make a little cut here on the side and just trim it down. All right, let's see here. Don't be afraid to um, cut and trim and this and that. It's on the back side. And for you, those of you that are like, oh, I want the back side to look great and wonderful, you can. After you get it all done being glued and stuff here, then you can put another piece of fabric over the top so you can't even see any of that. So no worries on that. So I'm just kind of cutting whatever I need to do so that um, I can pull this fabric a little bit tighter so it's not sagging so much. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, so here is what it's looking like so far. Okay, now, how do I want to decorate this one? So I am thinking that I could add some of this chunky yarn around the edge, or I could some of this, um, jute ribbon around the edge. I guess it's not ribbon, it's rope. So I think I'm going to add, on the little girl one, I added some heart lace along the edge, but I think that's gonna be too frilly for a boy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this um, nautical rope and just glue it like I would a lace, just right along the edge. Just running glue down the edge and put 
pushing that nautical rope on. Just kind of push that down into the sweater. Now, I really, really, really like using low temperature glue um, so that I don't have blisters all over my fingers. But if you do, um, oh my goodness, this is not working for some reason. They have little things that you can put on your fingers that uh, little silicone finger covers so that you don't burn your fingers. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Charlotte. I appreciate it for sprinkling the love. Hey, Kim. I know you're just joining. We're making these little um, love stockings or love bags or whatever. Um, kind of like a Christmas stocking for Valentine's Day for your kids, your grandkids to put their little treats on or in, sorry, um, in the morning of Valentine's or the afternoon or whatever. This would even be a cute idea, guys. I don't know if the little kids still um, are decorating. Like when I was a kid, we decorated Valentine boxes. And um, I know some schools, they'll let you just kind of decorate whatever. So this would be a cute idea for your kids, for you to make with one of your kids to take to school um, for Valentine's for their Valentine uh, cards from their friends. Okay, for some reason, my glue gun is not wanting to work, so I'm just really not sure. I'm probably being dumb with this new one. I've never used it before, and I didn't read the instructions, and you would, wouldn't think that it would be that hard to use a glue gun, but I'm pushing on the handle and it's not just coming out, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see if we can get this one to work. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep gluing this on. Hey, Jana, thanks for joining. We are making Valentine's uh, sacks, kind of like a Christmas stocking, but um, for Valentine's Day. Right now I'm making one for my son. Um, and this is the one that I made for my daughter. You just put their little treats and stuff down in there. Sorry, guys. I have to kind of repeat myself because people are joining at different times. So anyway, okay. So we're just adding this rope, this nautical rope around the edges instead of lace. Now, like I said, if your kid has a, a, um, a football team or a basketball team that they love, I know they have cute fabric, like team fabric at the craft stores, Walmart, um, that kind of stuff. If they uh, are at college and they have a college football team that they love, you could do that. Just like with Christmas stockings, you can buy all sorts of Christmas stockings. You can do the same thing with these hearts. You can, to fit their personality. So, I don't know. I said I'm making this for my son, but honestly, the more I'm doing this, this is more not his personality. This is more something that I would love with the creams and the uh, whites and all of that. So this may end up being my um, love sack. So if my husband's still watching, he needs to remember to fill it for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, just kidding. And then I think I need to make my son more of uh, a high school boy one, maybe football or something. He loves football. I actually could take one of his high school football t-shirts or something and cut it out and um, make something really cool. Or like if your husband or your kids love hunting, you could do the hunting camo. 
If your husband is in the military, you could do the military camo or, a, you know, flag material or whatever. So there's so many options that you can do to fit your loved one's personality. Um, you could do miniature ones of these. They don't have to be this big. Um, oh, where are those hearts? Oh, so there's these wood hearts at the Dollar Tree. This one I just covered with some fabric, but you could even do little tiny ones um, and just put a, you know, some suckers or something in it for, um, for somebody. They don't have to necessarily be this big. So... All right, so I got that all glued on. Thanks for sticking with me through gluing, gluing all of that on. I like to usually have a project half done so you don't have to sit and watch all of it, but with this one, I felt like it was important for you to be able to see all the steps that I was taking. Kind of hard to explain it. So, okay, so I've got the nautical. Um, rope around the edge. This one I added the heart lace around the edge. So if I'm going to do this one for me, I actually could add some lace, but I could do that later if I wanted to, to do that. Okay, so now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> I still have that tickle in my throat. I'm going to go ahead and maybe add. Oh, and guys, you know the um, tinsel that we took off, the tinsel garland that we took off all these hearts? Um, this is all the garland. I saved it. This might be a time that you could use it to decorate your little heart bags. Um, so just, just a thought about that. I always keep everything so that um, I can use it for other projects. So that might be really cute. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to decide here. I did, oh, so this is one of the, um, the felt hearts that I got in a package at the Dollar Tree. They have pink, white, and red, and I think I'm gonna add a white heart to, to mine, okay? Let's see, I'm not sure how I'm gonna put my bow on, so I might, I think I'm just gonna do it at an angle like this. I know that seems silly, but I'm gonna be putting a bow. Uh, no, I'll be putting the bow right there. So anyway, I think it'll look really cute in just a minute. So I'm gonna actually hot glue this cute little white heart on. And see what I say, this is just kind of gives you, this this heart kind of gives you something to glue your stuff on. So if you want the heart to show, you don't have to cover it with this kind of stuff. Otherwise, um, you don't really, you can't really tell that this is a heart anyway. So, okay, so we've got that. Uh, I actually want to move it down a little bit, tuck it in there. Sorry, I had to take that off real quick because I wanted to move it down. Tuck it down in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, let's see, keep embellishing my heart. So different sizes of lace and um, pom-pom garlands, all that kind of thing, little pom-poms, whatever you can add on there. I'm going to add some pom-pom garland right across the front of mine because I love pom-poms. I love them. I don't know why I do, but I do. Okay, so I'm just going to go right across there. And, okay, hey Tiffany, thanks for joining. And Patsy, hey, thanks for joining tonight. And Corey. So, um, again guys, if, you're, if you've been hanging with me for a bit, I know 
you get tired of me repeating myself, but for all of you that are just joining us, we are making these cute Valentine uh, love bags or love stockings or whatever, and they just are just like a Christmas stocking. You put stuff down in there for Valentine's Day for your children or grandchildren or your husband or wife, whatever. So I'm just making one here. Okay, so I added the pom-poms across there. And basically at this time, you just embellish your stocking any way you want. Okay, or your bag. Now I'm going to add a bow. I'm gonna keep decorating mine, but that way you're not on here all night having to watch me do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a bow. Now I took all the different color, um, neutral color ribbon that I had, and I'm just gonna do a um, rag bow, and that's where you just take two pieces, you crisscross them here. They don't have to be the exact same size. And here's another ribbon that I have. It's just going to add that to my, so here we go. So I've got my plain colored ribbon and then this cute one with the polka dots. I'm going to add this piece of burlap to the back. And I know I have more here. Let's see. Where did it go? Okay, and here's some lace. Sorry, guys, I'm going to lay this down real quick. Here's some lace. And let's see what other ribbon I have. <clears throat> um, I have all sorts of ribbon. I'm going to add some of this... Um, tool that's got little white polka dots on it. Probably just going to add one little piece of that back here behind this. Okay. Okay. Now at this time, I've got them all crisscrossed. Sorry. Crisscrossed like this. And so what I'm going to do is I am just going to take this here in the middle like this, oh, it's so hard to show you, okay? And then I'm just gonna scrunch it all together in the middle where it's crisscrossed. See how I just scrunch that all together? Okay, now one thing that I really like to use to tie bows is Chanel stems. These are like those little pipe cleaner stems. So I'm just gonna put that around the middle and I'm gonna pull really, really tight, and then just twist. <clears throat> okay. So much stuff on my table. Can't find everything. Okay, so once you do that, then you wanna start separating all your cute pieces of a ribbon. And this ribbon right here that's just squared off, I'm gonna dovetail it. So remember, you just fold it in half. You take it, you fold it in half, and then you cut at an angle towards your hand. And it gives you that finished edge like that, okay? So I'm gonna do that to um, my big ribbon here. You could do that to all of your ribbon if you want. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually not gonna do it to the tool, but I did do it to the polka dot one and this one. And let me do one more. Okay. And then just gonna kind of pull it, adjust it. All right, so you have this kind of cute little messy bow and I'm going to put that right here on my heart like this, okay? So I'm actually going to glue that, glue that down right here on my corner. 
Okay, now I've, if you're following me, you know that I found this at Hobby Lobby and I love it. It's a ribbon, it has X's and O's on it. I've used it for lots and lots and lots of the um, projects that I've done for Valentine's and I'm going to, um, I used some of it on my daughter's little bag here because X's and O's are hugs and kisses. That's perfect for Valentine's. So I'm going to do one on this one that I'm making. So I'm just gonna cut the X and O's and I'm gonna just glue some glue at the top and kind of put it right underneath this bow here so that it hangs down. And I'm just gluing it at the top, right underneath there, kind of tucked it underneath the bow, okay? And like with my daughters, I stenciled um, her name. It's backwards for you guys, but it says Emma with the X and O's. So I'll actually go back and um, put my name. So I will personalize each and every one of our stockings or our bags at our house. So when I did that, guys, I just took, this is an old white pillowcase, and I just ripped it. I cut a little cut in it, ripped it, because I like the frayed edges. Do it long enough for your name, and then I have this little plastic stencil that I got at the Dollar Tree that um, is the alphabet, and I just took some black paint and stenciled the name on it, poked a little hole in the top, added some a little jute string, and have it hanging. Um, I'll have it hanging underneath here by the little X and O's with who's ever name on it, okay? All right, so I didn't put um, anything around the top of this yet. So I'm going to do that here. You want to make sure you get those edges glued down. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's see, what do I want to add? I was going to add some of this, but then I decided not to. Let's see, I don't think I will. I don't know. I will think about it and add whatever to the edges of this, but I just wanted to show you the main idea. I don't want to keep you on here all night watching how I decorated it, but I think I'll put some lace across here. I've got the sweater material. I've got the pom-poms. I think I'll put some cream laces on there. I've got these little heart um, material doilies. I think I'll add somewhere on here as well. Um, anyway, I think, I hope that you like this idea it's just a fun idea for um for your kids or for your spouse or for just somebody that you love to have a little love sack for valentine's day to put their box of candy in um to put their little stuffed animal in um whatever treats that you choose you just stuff it right down in the little pocket just like a christmas stocking when they wake up in the morning it's hanging up wherever you want it to hang on their door or their bed post or the fireplace whatever and you have their little treats all tucked in there they get excited to wake up in the morning and see what's in their love sack it's um nice to put like a little love note tell um your children or your spouse why you love them and things that they that they um do that you know the reasons that you love them i just think it's a fun fun idea um these little wooden hearts you can cover them with material like i did this you can add uh, them to decorate it, um, whatever. You can add anything you want. And I think something that would be really cute is like um, an old brooch or something, diamondy brooch, like right in the middle of this bow. I think that would be so cute. Really bling it up if you're doing, um, here's one of my bead garlands that I made. That would be really cute, um, you know, on there somehow hanging whatever you can add anything you want just have fun with it have fun with it i think this is such a fun idea if you try it i would love for you to take a picture and send it to me or to excuse me to add it to the um rethink fabulous crafters group to give other people ideas to share your ideas um 
I hope that you guys like this. I absolutely think it's adorable. I love it. I'm excited to show my kids. They haven't seen them yet. It's going to be a surprise for Valentine's. And then each year they will know that, you know, their little love sack is, um, or love bag is, is waiting for them. And hopefully they'll carry on that tradition with, with their kids. So all you grandmas and mommies and aunts or whatever, get your littles together, have a little craft day, um, and um, make these for Valentine's. Also, guys, um, I've been thinking, I've had people asking me, and I've been thinking for all you locals um, of doing a craft, uh, I don't know what to call it, actually, just a, a craft day where um, there's a certain amount of tickets, you pay a certain price, um, and then it'll be a day of, or an afternoon of crafting. You'll do like probably four different crafts. Is is that something, let me know in the comments if that's something, if you're local um, in, the, in the area, if that's something that you might be interested in. Um, you know, give me some hearts or give me some, you know, messages or whatever. Um, if that's something that you think um, would be fun. I, I wanna do things, I, I feel like the things that I do are pretty um, simple to where, you know, teenagers and kids can do it. Um, so I'm not really sure if it'll be a like a mommy daughter type thing or if it'll just be a fun getaway for moms to go and craft and then you can go home and do them with your kids. I haven't quite decided, I haven't worked out all the details, but I think that that would be really fun. Um, and of course, if you're interested in doing a crafting party, uh, let me know and we can get together um, and you can get some of your friends together and then we can make um, a craft. But I think it would be fun to do a, a craft day where, um, where you actually get to do like three or four or five crafts during that, that afternoon. So, okay, yes, Charlotte, you, you think that sounds so fun. Okay, Cindy, yes, good. I'm glad to know that you guys think that would be fun. Sounds like fun, especially during these winter months. I agree, and you know, even though it's cold and stuff outside here pretty soon, we're gonna, I, this is what I'm thinking is to do it and start making stuff for spring because you're stuck in the house, it's all dreary outside and cold. What a better way to kind of like get yourself out of that funk of, of winter and start thinking of spring stuff. And so I think that might be kind of fun to make some spring DIYs um, together as a group. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to finish up this um, little sack and then I'll post pictures of it. That way you don't have to wait all night for me to decorate it. So um, anyway, thanks again. Make sure um, if you don't mind, please do this. Those that are just joining, I can't say this word or Facebook. Don't share my videos so um sprinkle the love since it's valentine season we'll say sprinkle the love to your friends so and your name will be put in this bowl full of all these names um every time you share your name goes in that bucket make sure you put in the comments that you shared because some of your privacy settings will not show me if you shared some of them do some of them i can see all these people i can see that they've shared but there's a couple that will not show me so if you've if you've done that make sure that you um let me know in the comments okay guys thanks so much for joining me i really um loved spending time with you guys tonight and i will finish this up and post pictures here in a bit and i will see you all real soon thank you